of the Great Divide! Pulling down the Delta with a Dixie Pride! I'm from coast to coast, from the east to the west! We had a green belt they call us the Midwest! And they say that a white man can't play the blues! But you ain't never ever walked in this man's shoes! But no, it really doesn't really matter, cause at the end of the day, every blues song, it sounds the same, you just stop! And you shout! I said stop! And you shout! I said shout! I hear you smoke in your lungs, you put the fuel in your blood! Feel alive till you feel the vampires start to hum. I am the snow we do until the daylight. Because we all know life don't begin till after midnight. And you say that a white man cannot play the blues. But you ain't never ever walked in this white man's shoes. But it all really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, every blues song is sound the same. Stop! And you shout! I said you stop! And you shout! Oh, shout! We are here through the smoke across the room! You see them long, thick curves, you like the way that she moves. It got built up inside, it's something you can't even take. And all you want to see her do is shake, baby, shake. We say shake, baby, shake. I said 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 shake, baby, shake. We said shake, baby, shake. I said shake, baby, shake. I said shake, baby, shake. Someday, folks, you know what that means. If you're seeing me, it's time for another exciting, exhilarating, motherfucking episode of Gravel Road Therapy with Dog Bite Harris. And I'll be your host today. Well, shit, man, I'm Dog Bite Harris. What's up, you fucking fuckers? It's good to be back. Sorry it took me so long to come back. Um... But it is what it is. Just another fucking day in the life, man. Uh, been out, been busy, man. Uh, here in a few seconds, you might hear I've got the old dog, the nude puppy in the back here. He's sleeping in his bed right now. And I'm actually, I'm full of shit. As you can see, we're in a fucking parking lot in Portland, so we're nowhere near Gravel Road. But. It's the only time I've had to really fucking do it, so I'm gonna do it. Do it right here, man. Um, you just heard, uh, Fallen Heroes. Actually, no, you heard, sorry. St. Christopher, Stomp and Shout, an oldie but a goodie. Um, 
but yeah, man. So anyways, uh, got some stuff to announce on this fun filled show. <laughs> I hate doing these things around like big, um, big fucking crowds and shit. It's so fucking awkward talking to yourself when you constantly are seeing somebody or just have a lot of shit going on. I get easily distracted. So I'm going to try not to let that happen, but I can tell already, a minute fucking 57 in, that it's happening. So, and I realized that I messed my set list up big time. So, I have to figure out how I'm going to fix that real quick. Um, so, one thing that we got coming up that's kind of important. Um, it's benefit time in the ruckus camp. Uh, I fucking a. My car is fucking disgusting. First off, it's been weeks since I've fucking cleaned it properly. It's been parked and fucking sitting forever. But anyways, um. So, we've got a friend in need, as we mentioned on the last episode, for those of you guys that remember, because it's been like a fucking month since I've done one, but our good buddy in Ruckus, in the Boonies, alumni, fucking Joshua, otherwise known as Acousta Noor, um, is battling throat cancer right now, and is fell on hard times, <laughs> and I know how that goes, man. Because it's hard enough to pay your bills when you're not sick and you're fucking working these days. Um, the economy sucks dick. And if you have a health problem, it double sucks dick. So, while I was out on the road with my brethren and sisterin, uh, Whiskey Dick, Stone Evergreen Travelers, and Mr. James Honeycutt, I picked up a bunch of merch. Um, we've got pretty much every CD that's been made by Whiskey Dick and James Honeycutt and Stone River Green Travelers and me. Well, not all the ones for me, but you get a copy of my Greatest Hits album. But all in all, we've probably got at least 12, 13 albums. Um, we got a tour flyer signed by everybody. Got some Whiskey Dick patches. Um, Stone River Green Travelers patches. Got a Ruckus in the Records patch. Uh, your choice of uh, Dog Bite Harris shirts. And, uh... But we'll be raffling all this off to help benefit Josh in his time of need. So hopefully we can raise him a few bucks. Historically. He's, he, made, he was telling me thank you. I said, well, historically... I'm not real good at benefits, so um, save your thank yous. Hopefully we raise more than 10 bucks or so, but um, really want to raise some cash for him, man. He's been good to us. Um, just been cool, man. And I know that, um, that I'm in shitty health and... I could be in the same shoes just fucking easy. Actually, I'm more surprised that it's not me in his position right now because of how terrible I take care of myself and how fairly good he takes care of himself. <clears throat> Better than me anyways. Um, I can tell just by looking at him. He doesn't weigh 400 fucking pounds. He eats a lot healthier than me. Um, hikes and shit, you know? pushes himself on his days off he does like shit like walks for leisure time so um i just want to do something to help him out man so we've got that coming up be on the lookout for more details i'm gonna try to get some more merchandise and shit because um i might raffle off a hoodie too see if i can manage to get some hoodies together for sale um speaking of hoodies 
Um, if you ordered one and I haven't reached out to you, there's two folks, Molly and Ashley Ray, who we had some mix-ups with our hoodies, so um, they'll be waiting. But everybody else, I think, is getting theirs. If you haven't got yours um, and you ordered it, hit me up in the next week or so to let me know. And um, then work something out. I'll also be doing a new hoodie order in the next couple weeks, so if you want one, hit me up. I'm not going to be doing the house design anymore. I'll be just doing the Ruckus and the Records pot of, uh, Snake Awana shirt. And I'll just be doing the new um, Orangutan flipping the bird dog bite Harrison the selfish bastard shirt so um, uh, so if you guys want one of those hit me up man I'd be happy to grab one for you holidays are coming up so the cold weather's coming up so that's good for you guys um, for me it's good because the holidays are coming up my hours at work have been not as busy I'm working normal hours now so that's always uh, barely making it by when I'm, unless I'm fucking working overtime constantly, I'm barely making it by. And right now, to be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm fucking on thin ice at work because since I've been back, I've been kind of a fucking space cadet. So I haven't really had a lot of time. Um, let me, I'll recap my week for you guys here, or my week, my month. So on October or September 20th, I took off on tour. I came back the evening, actually it would have been early morning on September 2nd, or October 2nd. So we went from, uh, first night uh, we were in Chehalis, Washington at uh, Flood Valley Brewing. Sorry guys, it's early as fuck in the morning, which I'll tell you why I'm here, here in just a moment. So, um... We are in Chehalis, Washington on September 20th at Chehalis, or <laughs> at Flood Valley Brewing. Um, we had a great fucking time there. Um, big thanks to Chris Rohr for hooking us up as always. And then the next night, we were in Tacoma at the Valley, and fuck, it was a great time, man. That fucking place was hot. God, I fucking love the Valley, and I fucking love Tacoma, and I can't wait to go back, man. I fucking love that city. Love the people there. <clears throat> Packed the place, made great money. It was good. Um, next night, we were in, at the Fun House in Seattle. That's always good. Um, you know you're doing something right when the owner of the Fun House and El Corazon comes out to your show. So big thanks to Dana for coming out and hanging out. I didn't really get any time to say hey or anything like that. Um, but yeah, Dana's always done good by us. It's a good time. And then the next night we were at Johnny B's in Madford, one of the last shows, man. Shut down a few days after that. Uh, it's a pretty sad deal, man. Uh, Johnny B's is one of my first shows. I met a lot of great artists there. The first time I met Felix Thursday was there. First time I met Kimbo Rose from Absinthe Rose was there. Um, there's a lot of fucking history at Johnny B's, man. I'm real sad to see that venue go. I wish somebody would buy it and turn it into something because I'd really like to fucking see live music keep going in Medford. And right now there's a couple places, but the problem is, is none of them get back to us. All of them fucking, you know, Johnny's would get back to us. So, um, it's hard to get into places there, man. They want all local shit or shit with a big draw, you know, so, um, I'm gonna miss that place, but we stayed at the Pirate Punk house, man, with Gabe and Laura, I fucking love those guys, man, I always sleep so well at Gabe and Laura's house, it's great, they have the fucking perfect setup in that fucking place, man, um, fucking windows are just black the fuck out, so comfy in there, um, and then the next night we're in Red Bluff, California, with Lady Red, at, a. Oh my god, downtown Ale House with Thomas and Lady Red. Such they're fucking always a good time there, man. Um uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to beat the shit out of some fucking dude for creeping up on the traveler's fiddle player though. 
I was getting fucking tired of watching this dude fucking, fucking A, man. Does anybody have a friend or fucking know the guy that shows up in the bar and instantly thinks that every lady in the bar wants to fuck him or should want to fuck him, and if they don't, he's going to try relentlessly? Well, that's that was this guy. Because everybody knows some guy like that. His fucking friends were apologizing. They were like, dude, we're sorry. We're just here for the music. This guy's a fucking dipshit. And he's like, well, guys, I gotta go. And they're like, peace, motherfucker. <laughs> so he got fucking kicked out for being a fucking douchebag. But anyways, um, other than that, it was great. Fucking Thomas made his pizza. It's awesome. Um, and then we slept in a truck stop that night. We were gonna go to the Winchester house, but... We decided not to. Uh, we went straight into San Francisco, California, man. I think was where we were the next night. Pretty sure we were in Frisco. Yeah. So we are at the Mint. No, that wasn't the Mint. It was something else. The Milk Bar. The Milk Bar in uh, San Francisco. That was great. A lot of fun. I had so much fun in San Francisco. I'd never been there before. Um, we... Uh, I'll be honest, the show wasn't very many people there, but at the same, but we were like right across the street from uh, that fucking giant record store, Moby, I think is what they call it. Um, but yeah, I went into like the biggest record store I've ever been in my life. I was so like tired, I couldn't even process all, everything. I didn't even make up past the books. I was like, I bought a couple books, and they were good price too. So, anybody who's in San Francisco and you want to go to a fucking good record store, go to a Mobia, man. It's old bowling alley. And I'm probably saying it wrong. But, um, yeah, I picked up the Hank Williams family tradition book. It's, like, got little pieces of Shelton and Randall, Hank Jr., and Hiram's fucking, uh, uh, history and shit in it. It's pretty cool. I picked that up for, like, six bucks. And then I picked up a Graham Parsons biography for about six bucks as well. I put back <laughs> fucking, um, I put back, uh, ooh, fucking A, Iggy, uh, we, I put back an Iggy Pop biography and a few other things. I had to fucking stop because I was going to spend all my fucking money. But yeah, so then the next night we were in Bakersfield, California. And that was fucking rad. Did pretty good there. Um, then the night after that we were in Los Angeles, man. Um, we were at, um, I know we were in Long Beach, which I guess is kind of like I always think of them as the same place, but they're not really. But we're in Long Beach. Um, at La Pizza or something like that. I can't remember what it was fucking called. I'm sorry, I'm a dick. But, <clears throat> um, so that was last night with Whiskey Dick and Honeycut. And then we broke off and they headed to more California shows. And we started heading north to make our way home. And the next night we were in a uh, Rio Linda at a, uh, um, fucking uh, Linda's place or Linda's porch or not Linda fuck me oh my god I'm a fucking terrible fucking person um not Linda what the fuck was the name of the place hold on I've got it in here I think I'm such a dick but it's Brian Harmon's house and his wife great people um Kim's place fuck me I'm sorry so, and then Bakersfield was the well. That was a cool place. It may have some serious potential. Um, and La Pizza. Yeah, it was La Pizza. Was the name of the other place. So, um, then we were, yeah, so we we're at Kim's place. Maria Linda. And that's where I picked up the new dog. I'll make sure he gets a little camera time before he's sleeping right now. He's being an a hole. This dog, of all my dogs, and those that you, of those of you that know me, this dog is gonna be the fucking hardest fucking headed one of them all. 
I promise. But yeah, so then the next night after Rio Linda, we were in Eugene, Oregon at Lucky's. Uh, that whole town has changed since I lived there, except Lucky's. Um, fuck, and I started pissing blood around this time. So that was a great day. And then we slept in a parking lot, and I pissed some more blood. And then uh, the next day, we went to Portland at Twilight, and it was another good show. I had some friends come out. Um, pretty good time. And I made the drive home that night, October 1st, and I got home. I had to pull over and sleep some, because that's how fucking tired I was, which rarely happens with me, but it's happening more and more the older I get. But I had to pull over and fucking sleep, so I ended up getting home at about 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the morning, um, on that mon Tuesday. Tuesday and uh, I slept until about noon and caught up and the next day I woke up at about 6 and drove to Middleton Idaho to pick up Brody back here and it was about a four hour drive four and a half hour drive one way and then I drove back and got home at about 5 o'clock, watched the new AEW, and went to work the next day. Bright and early at fucking 4, or got up at 4.30 in the morning, left at 5. Did my work week. Fucked up my work week, because I was supposed to work Sunday, and fucking didn't know it. And we had plans to go to the coast, luckily fixed that, so... Anyway, so I worked my work week, and Saturday when I got off work, we took off to the coast, <laughs> and we fucking got to the coast at about fucking midnight, one o'clock, because I left work early, thank God, and um, nah, it was earlier than that, it was actually about 11.30 when we got there, um, it was a pretty cool place, stayed in Cana Beach, um, went and to Seaside and Astoria the next day. Did all the fucking fun bougie shit. Um, ate some pig and pancake. Went and ate at Moe's. We decided after hours of looking for a good restaurant that we were just so tired that Moe's was just right next door. Even though I don't, I'm not really a fan of Moe's. And this last visit didn't really change my mind a whole lot either. Um, the Rogue Ro Moe's Pale... Or, yeah, Rogue's Moe's Pale Ale is pretty goddamn good, though, I'll tell you that. Um, and then we turned around and came back and finally had a couple days off yesterday and the day before that. And this morning, which would be Thursday, October 7th or 8th. No, it's the 10th, I think, randomly enough. Um, it's October 10th. I fucking um, got up at 3 o'clock today to drive Claire to Portland because she has to be at some fucking medical convention today so this is how I started my day today so now it's like fucking 10 o'clock in the morning I'm recording this shit in the parking lot of a red lion pissing blood again <laughs> so somewhere in my busy schedule I need to figure and get a doctor's appointment so I can stop pissing blood but I've been drinking apple cider vinegar and cranberry juice and that's been helping to stop the pissing of blood sometimes so TMI too much information that's what sharing is about though on gravel road therapy so anyways well fuck this shit we'll play some more music um we're gonna play a couple of Kustanor tracks I don't know which ones yet I can't remember which ones I bought um, but one will be the same one I played last week because I'm a cheap ass. So, play a couple acoustic Nor songs and then we'll be right back with you. Sometimes it seems it's life. 
has gone and left me behind. Well, I started the fire, now it's running wild, and I'm trying to keep my steps in time. And there's a deep blue water washing me clean, and a great blue yonder is keeping my soul free. Right to right to lane highways and whiskey alley lows, people dance on the sidewalk and wash away my soul. When you're right high on glory, it ain't no good if you don't know how broken up it feels in it sometimes. That's just the way it goes There's a lively burning bright green light Hiding deep in the blue It's like the dragon's old Flashing, burning, waiting for you And there's a deep blue daughter Calling me into a dream And her great blue yonder Is keeping my soul free Flashing, flashing, lane highways And whiskey valley lows Never dines on the sidewalk And chipped away my soul And you're right high on glory It ain't no good if you don't know How broken on it is in its own time That's just the way it goes Well, I'll suffer through this valley Of darkness in my own And all that doubt that burns inside me It finds a hold in sorrow and sin But there's a light I know For I can feel her standing there I've seen the wild in your eyes Look so lively in fire And tonight It's the only we share Gone and left me behind Well, I started the fire Now I'm running wild And I'm trying to keep my steps in time And there's a lively burning bright green light I need to get the blue It's like the dragon's a wild green fire Flashing, burning, waiting for you Rocks and brides who lay in highways And whiskey valley lows Little times Reach 
Fuckers, we're back. That was a couple of Kusta Noor songs. I don't even know which ones they were yet. But, um, anyways, yeah. So, um, I just did the rundown on the tour. Talked about the Kusta Noor um, benefit we're planning. Um, and speaking of planning, um, as some of you guys might know, me and Claire finally set a date, October 10th of 2020 we're gonna get married we don't know where yet more information coming soon but the one thing I can tell you is that we've got a shit ton of bands coming um, coming out to play should be cool we've uh, so far we've got and this card is subject to change you know I'm not gonna ask people to put off touring and playing big festivals to come play our wedding but um, I'm sure some things will change but so far we've got um, St. Christopher's interested in coming down. Um, Whiskey Dick, Honeycut, Stoned Evergreen Travelers. Um, and we'll see who else, man. I was going to try to get the Pine Box boys to come up because Claire loves them, but Lester's actually um, fucking uh, performing a wedding. But, you know, and then we got Felix and Billy Hood. Billy Hood's actually going to be marrying us as well, for those of you guys that don't know. Um, actually, I don't think anybody knows. I just announced it right there. Cat's out of the bag. Hopefully, Claire's not too mad. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we decided that it's just fucking time, man. Um, we've probably are overdue. But, you know, the good thing is, though, is we've worked out most of our shit before getting married. We were gonna get married like within the first like fucking eight months we were together or some shit. And we started fighting and became broke and we put it off and put it off and put it off and fought. We, we spent like a good three or four years of our relationship kind of hating each other and loving each other at the same time. But over the last like two, three years, we've been doing really good. Um, She's been doing really good, is a lot of it, you know. Actually, I'm more of the pain in the ass nowadays. 
she's always constantly doing something to better herself and I still am doing the same shit I've always done work a job I hate so I can play music that I love doing minimal you know so I mean it's kind of always been the story of my life is work a job I can't stand which actually I shouldn't even say that it's not that I don't stand my job my boss is rad um it's just like anything though when you're not doing what you want to be doing it starts getting frustrating you know and I'm not 100% sure that I'm cracked up to be in like a role that I'm in you know um I uh fucking I, I do like doing what I do but I think it's time for a change and maybe just a change within the same you know I've been thinking about like trying to put myself out to doing more administrative kind of things and we definitely know that we want to get out of Morrill County and Claire's almost graduated and once she gets some more um work history built up we'll fucking try to move out and go to a different place and live a different life kind of you know but shit takes time takes money sometimes I wish it happened now though so I'm kind of just fucking feel like I'm stuck in a rut sometimes especially when I go out on tour <clears throat> I feel so fucking good and so fucking alive and the only thing I miss about anything is I miss Claire, I miss Paige, and I miss my dogs. That's it. It's the only thing I miss from that area. I don't miss my fucking job. I don't wonder about what's going on there. I don't fucking wonder about how my town is doing. And I don't, like, crave being back in the country because I just hate the city life. Um, I don't really particularly like the city life, to be honest, which is probably why I fucking stayed in the country for as long as I have but I might I would like to be a little closer to the city like like today I wouldn't have had to have gotten up at 3 o'clock in the morning you know 6 probably would have done it um I also wouldn't have had, like anytime there's a show I won't be like it would cost me like 200 fucking dollars to go anywhere, you know. So, I just, uh, just fucking need a change of pace, man. So, um, but yeah, that's what's going on, man. Um, trying to think of anything else to talk about man we got some shit to talk about oh um here's nice like you know what actually no i'm gonna roll into some more music you guys need some more music last segment was big i covered just about my whole list of shit there so we're gonna space the rest of this shit out uh, what do we have up next we've got Whiskey Dick featuring James Honeycutt, Fallen Heroes, live, I recorded it, in Bakersfield at the well. Followed by Husky and the Slow Attacks, I can't remember which song I got going for them, but we'll figure that out. One of a great band, they played the porch after us too. Hopefully we'll see them around soon. I fucking love Husky. Um, and, stay tuned, we got some more tour announcements coming up here in a bit too, so... But anyways, for now, Whiskey Dick featuring James Honeycutt. You know what I'm saying? All in heroes. Live at the well in Bakersfield, California. <laughs> I'll be back. It's out at Sophie, the little fall here.
years of pain have kept me away. You open my eyes to see the light of day, and I think you're here to stay.
blood and I see it all All should be the blood to get out in the world This storm has still got me my own
What in the hell am I watching? Holy crap. What's up, you fucking putos? That was... Husky and the Slow Attacks. Before that, it was Whiskey Dick featuring James Honeycutt, Fallen Heroes. So, hell fucking yeah. So, um... I was in the last segment talking about Claire. And how she's constantly bettering herself. And she kind of doesn't want a lot of people to, like, know this. But I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. Um, I think she should be proud of herself about it. And, um, but Claire, yesterday, got her learner's permit to learn how to drive. And she's 33. And, um, that's why she's kind of ashamed of it. She feels like she should have got her license sooner. But, like I told her, it's like... Would you rather be 33 and still not have the option of driving and learning how to drive legally? Or would you like to be 33 and be moving forward and trying to accomplish your goals, you know? Um, so I'm pretty fucking proud of her for that. That takes a lot of balls to go into a fucking DMV at 33 and be like, I need to take my learner's permit test, you know? Um... So, good on her, man. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where we are here. Hmm. I fucked it all up. So, um, yeah, I fucked this fucking shit up. So, I'm trying to think here. Um... Here's something I can talk about, I guess. Since you guys haven't heard me vent or bitch for a while. and um, So, my good friend Cody High, former mayor of Hepner, just hit me up and was wondering if I was going to be doing um, my annual ruckus toy drive in Hepner this year. And I was like... I don't think so, man. You know, the last couple years I've done it. Fuck, the last couple years I've done anything in Hepner. I haven't felt like I really accomplished a lot, you know. Um, we always fucking pull in a few hundred bucks. But... It's just like the same cool people donating a hundred dollars each time, you know. And I'm sure the same people can find another way to donate money, you know. Um So anyways, um we won't be doing it this year just because of the fact that everything's kinda went to shit. I feel like, you know, and I just want to clear the air, just in case anybody's wondering. It's got absolutely nothing to do with Bucknum's Tavern or anything like that. It's just the fact that I'm just fucking fed up with Hepner. You know. Um, pulling the plug on Ruckus and the Boonies was fucking hard as shit. And it bummed me out and left me in a fucking depression. Ugh. And, um, you know... I feel like part of that to blame is my political views that I'm pretty, um, you know, I'm not willing to hide them. Uh, I was born fucking poor as fuck, so I understand what it's like 
to try to get anywhere in this world and be poor as fuck and to be fucking stereotyped as a certain type of person because of who you're related to or who your friends are. Um, so I feel like a lot of that drew away a lot of local support and to be honest with you, I've pissed enough local people off because I don't suck Donald Trump's dick that even less will probably come out this year. You know, I proudly fucking piss these people off. My delete list and my block list is a mile fucking long right now. And I'm okay with that because I'm tired of seeing people advocating for fucking locking up Hispanic kids in jails and for watching this puke fucking absolutely fucking mutilate our country from the inside out. And fucking people just think this shit's okay. Like, if it was a Democrat doing the same thing, all these conservatives would be fucking impeaching his ass by now. So, it's disgusting. The shit that this fucking dude gets away with is fucking disgusting. And I'm fucking tired of watching it. And I'm tired of fucking, really kind of tired of shaking hands with people that fucking advocate for it. So, you know, like I said, if you voted for him, I've said this a million times, I don't have an issue with you if you voted for him. You know, it was, maybe it was time for a change. You know, I didn't like a lot of the shit Obama did either, but, um, I am fucking really sick to my stomach thinking about what fucking Trump is doing. So, and I don't understand a lot of it, I'll be honest, but from what I do understand and what I do fucking research and it's just like to me I'm just tired of researching it like I don't know what the fuck he's doing now what he's up to with fucking trying to fucking pin Joe Biden's kids for shit in Ukraine or some shit or what's going on with Turkey now like fuck me he's fucking pissed so many people off at this point I can't fucking figure out how or why he's fucking running this fucking goddamn country like a fucking three ring circus so, but like I said, man, you voted for him, that's fine, whatever. I'm just tired of people like, there's just like a certain breed of people that really love him that piss me off. That post their cute little mams and shit and fucking just jump up and down for fucking the joy of fucking this piece of shit being in fucking presidency. Fucking basically turning our clock back a fucking century. Fuck me, man. It fucking. Eh. <clears throat> Why well, I got you here? <clears throat> Let's talk about vaping. So, speaking of shit I don't like that politicians are doing, the governor of Oregon, Mrs. Kate, Ms. Kate Brown part of the flush down Kate Brown movement from the fucking Republicans who basically want to flush her down the toilet I guess but now you know you got the timber, timber unity thing going on but now you're fucking with the potheads too I hope this lady gets fucking booted man um fucking bitch fucking is gonna fucking ban vape pens because of this whole vape pen thing. Um, it's fucking dumb. How many people have died from smoking cigarettes? How many people die from drinking and driving it every day? Or alcoholism? You know, and then let's not even talk about the opioid crisis that's being taken care of by Donald fucking good golly Trump right now. Like, <sighs> targeting marijuana like, why are we still targeting marijuana? Target the people that are making the fake fucking vape pens. Don't target the marijuana industry. You fucking stupid fucking people, man. It's the same goddamn shit. Same goddamn shit. So, anyways, you fucking fuckers. Um, I am going to play a couple more songs this next one will be by the ugly valley boy followed by lauren walker madsen my collar ain't white so 
Uh, I'll be back in a minute to send you guys off. Will you go with the deer To a place far from here Let's get away from these lights And get away from this street Nothing down here but a circus it seems Oh yeah Well you see I've played all the games and I've taken down names There's no room for me now Farewell to this place Oh yeah Baby someday we will be On our cabin up Way up in the hills yeah Bit right next to a stream where we could watch the full world's creatures and hold us What really matters oh, in the heart of oh, what we planted Oh yeah Oh Just miss the teeth behind that smile We've both been faking it a while Let's go get gone, pretty gal Through the blue skies above Well, the simple life for now Will be more than enough Oh, yeah Baby, someday we will be all I'll get enough Way up in the hills, yeah Be it right next to a stream Where we could watch the forest creatures in the heart of What really matters Crack of dawn. I got the nine to five blues, so better sing this song. And now my legs feel like they're breaking off. I'm jumping fences each morning to catch the bus. Getting tired of hoping that things will change. If I don't dig in deep, it'll always be this way. Cause I'm a working man. Yeah, I'm a working man Yeah, I'm a down-home, hard-working, blue-collar man Yeah, I'm a working man And now sometimes I think fate's on my side To hell with that, I do this for the ride I really never cared what other people thought About my ripped jeans, my snake skins, and the way I talk Cause I'm a working man Yeah, I'm a working man Yeah, I'm a down-home, hard-working, blue-colored man Yeah, I'm a working man
Yeah, I'm a working man. Yeah, I'm a working man. Yeah, I'm a down home, hard working, blue collared man. Yeah, I'm a working man. All right, you fucking fuckers. I'm back. That was Ugly Valley Boys, Simple Life, followed by Lauren Walker Madsen. My collar ain't white. Um, so anyways, real quick, I just want to let everybody know that we're working on a small run with the Pine Box Boys in April, and we'll be going back out on the road, um, looking like the same. It'll be me and the Travelers going out the the Pine Box Boys in April. It will be what looks like... Um, the same lineup from this last tour. Whiskey Dick, Honeycut, myself, and the Stone of Green Travelers heading out to um, Pondstock this year in June, too, as well. So we'll be back out, probably head out through Montana, have a few shows. Um, so there's some tour announcements. Uh, I'm going to put it out with the song of the week. This is some live footage I shot from the porch um, in Santa Rio, California. Or Santa L Rio Linda. Fuck me. So, um, this is some live footage of Felix Thursday playing a new track called Drinking Be Beer in Champagne, Illinois. So, that's that, you fucking fuckers. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we, uh, had a good show for you. Sorry it's been so long. I'll try to make it back to doing it fucking kind of the same time every week. Probably won't be Sundays, might be Tuesdays. But we'll be back um, next week. I'll see you fucking fuckers later. And remember, I'm not actually a therapist. I just play one on YouTube. And everything's going just perfect. They don't sound any better, so. <laughs> it's pretty much as good as it gets. I don't know. You're... I just wrote this one last week. You I haven't do. been to Illinois in a long fucking time. Check. Not much I like about Illinois. I couldn't afford being broke anymore. So I packed up my guitar and I headed on out the door. While you're out friends living in your high dollar way I'm near roadside bars singing for my pay I drink beer in Champagne Illinois Love getting me on and the noise With one foot on the ground Rail and the other one in the grave I ain't looking to be found While I'm trying to get saved I used to think that I'd live forever Now I wonder if i last a week What you done was worse than the whiskey did to me While you're out with your fancy friends Living in your high dollar way Well I'm trying to drag my ass up Onto another stage I drink beer in Champagne, Illinois Lost in the neon and the noise Hell one foot on the brass rail And the other one While I'm trying to get saved Yeah! Woo! I always write songs like The views and opinions expressed on Gravel Road Therapy are mine Mr. Dogbite Harris And if you don't like them, you can go fuck yourself And I'd like to take a minute right now to thank my sponsor Dirtbag Clothing Go check out their shit And, while you're at it, go check out 
or shit at ruckusintherecords.com. Check out our new shirt design, the Snake Awana shirt. You can also check out Dog Bite Harris and the Selfish Bastards' brand new shirt. And while you're over here on YouTube, hit subscribe by following this directions.